What is going on YouTube? Price Crispy94 here bringing you another mini painting video. Now, I'm trying to think, this is going up way later than it's being filmed. Um, so sorry to break the fourth wall, but that's because I'm going to be painting some desert creatures, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail. Um, this will be part one of two, because I have a lot of creatures that I want to paint and show off. Uh, these are 3D printed models from EC3D Design on my mini factory. Uh, they did a really cool um, scenery, desert scenery, and then I saw these, and I was like, oh, these are really cool as well, so I did some of those. Um, their desert scenery is what I was interested in. I did some rocks and this, like, altar thing that they had, um, and I got that. It's currently drying, all primed, um, but all this stuff will is featured in my one shot uh, that is on the channel. Uh, I don't know when it will be filmed in relation to this, but it will have already been done. So go check that out. It'll definitely be on the channel and I'll link it in this video. I will also link EC3D's design, the EC3D Designs channel, or uh, my mini factory page in the down there. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what we're painting today. So today I have, and it would help if I would just show you, this, uh, this is a giant snake, uh, it calls it a desert viper. So very cool design. Um, one thing I do like about their minis is that they are unsupported. You don't need, and unsupported as in they don't need supports. There's a hair on that one. Um, everything is just put on the plate and builds up. So the way the snake worked is you can kind of see the gap there. That's my fault, didn't file it good enough. Um, the body and the head are two separate pieces and you just put them on in whatever you know slicer you use slice it print it no supports just scrape it right off the build plate so that's super cool and i really like it um, they offer based and unbased models i went with the unbased and just put them on some uh, board of print bases that i already had printed up because i prefer when the minis are unbased at the start um just because I can put this thing on a black base already instead of the gray. That's a, a me thing. So yeah. So we're doing the snake first. And also, I have three vultures that shouldn't take too long. So they're just going to be like little throw-ins here. Uh, probably while I'm waiting for parts of the snake to dry, I will go ahead and run through these guys. Uh, I'll only paint one because I have three. Um, I just went ahead and printed three because I thought that was a good little vulture swarm. But I will paint one on cam and the others off cam. As for the snake, let's talk about it. So, well, let me break down what I'm doing for these desert rocks. So I printed off a bunch of desert rocks and temples. Uh, this is just a micro one I printed because it's, it's cute. Um, the other ones are massive. Uh, so I primed them all in a desert brown color. And then I'm going to go over them with a dark brown. Um, most likely, what did I decide on? Oh, I think I decided on Albert. Albert Brown. And then I'm going to go ahead and run them with a reddish brown wash that I'm going to make out of cobalt red. I'm just going to kind of lighten it up, or not lighten it up, make my own wash with that color. Throw that on the rocks to kind of give that red lock, rock look. And then we're going to take some fair skin and dry brush over it to kind of look like some sand on it. Uh, so we're going to do that with this rock here. And now for the snake, the actual snake. His color, his main color, the scales, are going to be a shield brown. Because it's close to the Albert brown, but different. Because I didn't want to... I mean, if you think about animals and nature, they camouflage themselves. And that's what I wanted to do with this figure. I want to make it look like the rocks that it's camoed in, but not actually the same color. Uh, its belly is going to be driftwood brown, which is a nice light brown that I like. <clears throat> so that's going to be the majority of it. Then we're just going to take um, some Sturge Tan to do the inside of the mouth. Glistening blood for the tongue. Skeleton bone for the teeth. I like me some skeleton bone. Fire Newt Orange for the eye. Then we're going to take the Cobalt Red, the color that I'm using in a wash, 
and I'm just gonna do a light dry brush over the actual scales on the back because I think that'll look really cool. Um, then we'll move on to the rock and it will look like the other rocks I'm painting, the Albert Brown, the Cobalt Wash, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, in case I need it on the pupils for the snake's eye, which the pupils are actually sculpted in, which is really cool. Um, oh, this is black. And then I probably will go over the whole thing in a brown wash, besides the rock. Or I might just go over the whole thing in the cobalt red wash, except for the belly. Do that in like a flesh wash. Uh, we'll see. And now, can't forget about our birds. Now for the birds, uh, the rock's similar. Um, the bull head that they're sitting on, it's a very small bull. Um, is going to be the skeleton bone color. Uh, this little bit of pink here for its neck, well, its head, and what do you call that? Oh my god, I can't think of it. Talons, oh my gosh. Uh, its feet and talons are going to be Sturge Tan, not really its talons. I haven't decided on a beak color yet. Uh, I'll probably end up making one because I just I can't find anything. I'm basing these off the turkey vultures that we have here where I'm from, um, and they are mostly black, so all black, and then I'm going to use wood stain brown to do all the feathers, and then I'm going to dry brush black over that. And the chest is black, and then the body, or the head, is going through the sturge tan as well. Whew. That is a lot to go over for this video. Um, I do want to show off the other creatures uh just so you guys can see them because they're really cool uh it's a four pack so the next creature we have are a swarm of beetles uh which is really cool this is the first like swarm thing i have so yeah i've got four of these unfortunately one did break um but it's kind of hard to tell but yeah this this piece broke when i was taking it off the plate but yeah, we're going to do those, and then we are also going to do a giant scorpion, because I love scorpions. Again, this is two pieces, but I did a better job filing, so you can't really tell that that stinger is a separate piece. But that is enough talk. Whew. Let's get to painting.
All right, we are back now. Uh, we have the snake and all three of the vultures painted. So let me get those pulled up. Super happy with how the snake turned out. Um, especially here on the top of the head. Get that focused, but yeah. Uh, the dry brushing and the brown wash just made the scales look so realistic to me. Like, maybe not super realistic, but definitely what I feel like a snake hiding in the desert sand would look like. Or more so in the rocks, um, the red rocks that I'm going for with this whole set. These rocks here uh, that I've been painting as I wait for these to dry. Um, I really love the tone that this came out with. Now, it is a little hard to see the red in there, but you can see glints of it. Um, just for comparison, let me grab one of these red rocks that I have not washed yet. And you can definitely see the red tint when I compare a non-washed rock to the washed rock. Um, I love the way the eyeball turned out. Man, I just... This mold is fantastic. I love it. Uh, my only complaint that I have about this mold uh, is that, oops, hit the wrong thing there, sorry, is that the tooth has that little, it looks big and that's because there is a very, very thin cut there to make it so the tooth could be printed without ooh, got some missing paint there and there okay apparently i was just like nah <laughs> um anyway so how these are made which is really really cool uh they're made to print i think i mentioned it earlier they print without supports and so i think that little notch there is so they were able to make it print that way otherwise those teeth would need support um, but that's all right i still love the model and you're not going to be able to see that from tabletop distance anyway uh, the inside of the mouth turned out fantastic okay moving on to the vultures so let's show off all three here here's the one i painted on cam and here are the two i painted off cam uh, all relatively the same piece. I really did nothing differently. Um, the only thing that changed on them is how the dry brush took on to the wings. Uh, like this one was much darker than this one. And I think that's probably my lightest. Uh, but I really like that. It shows that they are different birds. Um, you know, everything's about the same. Man, I missed some gray on that one too. But it they were kind of hard to get the gray in some areas. Uh, so I will go back through and get that with black because that will make it look more like the body. Um, so I based these turkey buzzards off of... Oh, is that one still need an eyeball? I can't tell. No. Just lighter than this one's. Uh, I based them off of the turkey vultures that we have here in Indiana. Uh, they are predominantly black with brownish black feathers. Uh, and then the pink heads. I probably could have chose a different color than the Sturge Tan. But, eh. It kind of gives it a, a cartoonish vulture look. But it looks cool to me. And also, I really like how the red rocks turned out on this figure especially. You can really see that red that blood down into it. Spin him around. His eyeball. Uh, I think there's a Looney Tune character that really looks like these vultures um but yeah that is going to do it for part one of our desert creature adventure um up next we have a really cool giant scorpion and some scarabs um scorpion obviously will be the main focus and then i'll be painting one scarab on cam the other three off cam and we'll compare and contrast but that is it for this i will see everybody back here monday for a mini painting video and then the following day for part two of our well sorry not the following day the following wednesday for part two of our desert creature adventure until then 
Peace.